Yo, FM Campbell here. Welcome to episode number nine of the World Network game. The other guys are obviously in the description. We've got Toxic Lemon, we've got Just Another Guy HD, and we've got Completely Chaz FM. Make sure you go check out their channels and their perspectives of this series. As I said, links are in the description. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, make sure you check out their ones before you see this one. I don't want you to be getting any spoilers. But we have some news already. First thing, and the Penguins have made a loan offer for Vallejo. They originally made an offer of zero wages, and I said, no, I want some money. He's come back with 30% wages. To be honest with you, he's going to be sat in our in our under 21s at the moment so i think we've got a recall option on him we have got a recall option on him so if he's not being played enough i will recall him simple as that but i'm going to accept that i have already accepted it 30 percent of his wages being paid um, he gets him some first team experience hopefully he plays quite often at the penguins but yeah i think because we can't get him to go on loan anywhere else that's the op that's our, he's our last option really to go to the penguins so we've sent him out his current report says that he's a decent player for most world division four sides so he's only two star in our team but he's got great potential so hopefully if he plays regularly for the penguins we might actually come to a good deal and i won't have to recall him so we accepted the deal for him to go to penguins and jesus Faleo has rejected them that's my boy that's my boy well done jesus the transfer roundup is in, and as predicted, we are the biggest spenders. The most expensive player to move, by the looks of it, um, was Morgan Schneider at 22.5 million. Gabriel Barbosa then was at 22 million. He went to the Jaguars, and we also bought Abdul Baba for 21 million. Both of them seem to turn out to have been worldy buys. We spent 194 million pounds because we're so good at business, and we've brought in. We were also the most active, bringing in 43 players. So that's plenty of free transfers. We've got a real big, strong, in-depth team. That's why we've got the likes of Penguins, who did say at the beginning of his series that he was a little bit worried about the depth in his squad. That's why he's coming to us now for, for loans of, of the, our lesser players. or we're, we're Not lesser players, but players that aren't good enough to be in our first team yet. But Everton have also set the new record in the World Division 2 Um They've gone six games unbeaten. We've also, unless they've got a game, they played their extra game. We've gone six games unbeaten. Why have they set a new record? We've we've set the same record. It's just us and Everton and Kivast. God, we're just being. I think it's because obviously they won more, but it's not fair. We've got the same. We're also unbeaten in six. News just in. Of course, the one and only Borak Dokal goes and gets the Player of the Month accolade. And then look who's in second as well. Oh, it's uh, Andre Ayu of Lynx FC. The first board monthly confidence update. And uh, they're happy with... The, the, well, they're satisfied with the management of the team, which is good. The, car the capture of Borat Dokao, who the fans believe an extremely good player, has been particularly pleasing. We did make a loss of 5.83 million last month. Um, but the merchandise is rocketing up, as you could probably guess, with the big names that we're signing. And a little bit of good news as well. Casco... Milton Casco has finally started full training, but he's very, very unfit. So it could be a while before we get him into the first team. We're actually going to make him available for the under-21s until he is match fit. The Foxes have a World League Capital One Cup game today in their group. They're away to Borussia Dortmund. Um, so make sure, as I said earlier on, to go check out the other guys' channels where the links will be in the description. Obviously, in this case... Make sure you check out Toxic Lemon's channel as he is away to Dortmund. He's going to play against the Yellow Wall in his group. If we actually have a look at his group now, this is his group. He's got Dortmund, Lazio and Schalke, as you can see. And, oh, he's going to... That's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. If he gets out of that, fair play to him. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that is going to be really, really tough. Because Kaska's almost back to full fitness... We, um, just to let you know, Marcus Alonso's loan deal does end soon. We only had him on loan for a short time just to cover the injury. So, yeah, Marcus Alonso will rejoin Fiorentina very, very shortly. The games today, then. Jaguars are at home to Olympiacos. We're at home to Ajax. Penguins are at home to Everton. And there is not actually a Foxes game today because, obviously, they had their cup game a few days ago. Remember, as I said, go check out Toxic Lemon Channel for that game. So we're going to go into match preview. We're going to get the team set up and I'll join you very, very shortly for kickoff. 
As you can say, as you can see, as you can see, we are playing Ajax in the first game, as I've mentioned, and they've been playing a four-four-four-one-two-two-one or a four-three-three. So, yeah, I'll see you very shortly for kickoff. So as you can see, we are four to six favourites in this match. So realistically, we should be beating these. Ajax currently sit in 12th place after six games, so they're mid-table at the moment. We've got a good chance to go top if we, if obviously results go the same way from around the grounds. We've got a couple of a bit, a little bit of a rotation in this game. No Abdul Babar at all. He's very, very tired from his international appearance he recently had. So Marcus Alonso is actually going to play his one and only game for the club at left back. Rakitsky comes in for Balanta. Basong plays again. Cedric are right back, we've got Butland in goal, Fabio still not quite match fit, then we've got Garmash who comes in for Gago who's very tired, Schneidlin in the middle to join him, Rafinha on the left because AU is knackered, Dokal on the right, Shelby in the 10 with Cruz up top, they're going with Viergriever, Moisander, Veltman and Van Rien, um, Sillison in goal, Serrero, Van, de, Van der Beek, Zimling, Klaassen, Schoen and um, Tony up top, Lucas Luka Tony. Um, Boa, Boylson, Anderson, Milik, Nori, Vanderhorn, and El Ghazi on the bench. We have Balanta, Johnny, Gago, Au, Sol, Munir, and Danny Ings all on the bench. We kick off then, and we are at home shooting left to right in the yellow kit. Um, obviously, Ajax are in their red and white kit. So, with that, with the nil-nil draw. Um, we actually leapfrog the Foxes, that means we go above them, but they will have a game in hand after this. I'm going to go attacking immediately because I want to get an early goal. So news just in, we're in the 18th minute and the Penguins are beating Everton 2-0. We have a real big opportunity to go top of the league here if the other results can continue to go our way. But the Penguins are doing us a bit of a favourite in a minute. Lacazette and Junior Murray with the goals. We haven't had a single highlight here. Oh, talk, speaking too soon, Garmash heads it away. And Serrera picks it up. It's a bit of a scramble for the ball. We might have to slow this down. Luca Tony shoots and it's saved by Butland. We're going to definitely slow that down slightly. That was very quick. <laughs> Cedric with a throw on the right-hand side. Then Dokal's going to run at them. Klaassen easily tackles him. Luca Tony comes forward, plays into Zimling. Zimling's going to run. He's played a long, long ball to Serrera. He's going to cut that back. Tony's in the middle and Tony should be doing better than that. We haven't had a single shot yet. I think we're going to have to try and... It was actually deflected wide. Shown with a corner, then it's cleared by Scheidelin. We are going to try and control this game. It's very, very quick. Shown comes forward again. Serrera's got a lot of space. Van der Beek's got a lot. Klaassen's even got even more, and he's put it wide. And Ajax have had six shots, and we haven't had a single shot. Shown then with a the corner. Schneidlin clears this time. Serrera's going to pick up the ball, probably play it back out wide. He does. Shown comes back in to Serrero, Serrero's got him so much time to shoot and we don't close him down and oh, that is terrible, we are having a poor game, one shot we've had in 38 minutes, considering we normally have about 20 plus shots per game, this is not going well, very very poor, as you can see here, Serrero just not closed down look, it took us about 4 years to close down, he's got a free shot at goal really really poor from us so we start the second half then, and things have got to improve. We've only had two shots all game so far. Really, really poor from us. Schneidlin's going to come through. This is probably going to be end of the highlight, and it is. Schneidlin comes forward with the ball. Rafinha's got a lot of room. Can he get the ball in? He does. Cruz, and Cruz scores. It is 1-1. Come on, boys. Pick it up. Let's go and get this winner. Oh, it's disallowed, for God's sake. Rafinha with the corner. Swings it in. Goes to the back post, and they clear very, very easily. Nori comes forward, well, that's forward, gets the ball. He's just smashed it downfield. Cedric picks it up. Do not give that away. They've got a lot of men there. Besong plays it along the line to Rakitsky. Shelby gives it away. Really, really poor. Besong out to Rakitsky again. Rafinha comes inside. Rakitsky plays it out wide to Marcus Alonso. Keep Rafinha, keep going. There it is Mol Alonso. Put the ball across. Rafinha, cross it in. Someone put the ball in the bloody box. We do so. And it's Schneidlin. And is that... A yeah, good. That is allowed. 1-1. One, one. Come on, boys. Rafinha, as you can see, whips it into Alonso. Alonso, oh, poor cross to be fair. It looks like Schne Shelby just knocks it down for Schneidlin to get the assist. And Schneidlin does well to put it away. And now we need to turn it round. Sillison picks up the ball then for Ajax. Moisander. Looks like they've gone five at the back, potentially. Veltman. Zimling. Sillison, they're messing about with it. Tony's going to win that in the air all day. Van der Beek into Tony. He's got options. He does have options. Klaassen. Tony, through ball, via Griva, and they've scored. And is it offside? It is offside. Good. We're due one. 
News just in with the game's uh, scores around the grounds. Jaguars are 3-1 up now against Olympiacos. Dentino and Gabriel Barbosa with two. 5-1 to the Penguins. That's finished. Uh, Murray with a hat-trick. Lacazette with two. Lukaku with an 87th minute um, consolation goal for Everton. We're going to make a substitution to try and press for this winger. I'm going to take Rafinha off, bring on AU. I'm worried about Shelby with that yellow card. Let's bring him off for Sol. Worried about Alonso as well. Let's go with Johnny for Alonso. So we've got AU, Sol and Johnny coming on. Johnny then with a the throw into Schneidlin. Lose it. AU's going to get the ball. We could put it in the box. It's kept in. It's clear. Johnny should pick it up with ease. Rakitsky. Into Garmash, Basong, spread it along the back line nicely. Cruz, Schneiderlin, has he lobbed him? He's lobbed him. Is he onside? Is he onside? He is. Come on, boys. 82nd minute winner, potentially. Basong there with a great long ball. Cruz seems to knock it down. Schneiderlin's completely unmarked, and he just dinks it into the corner with his head, right into the side net and right by the post. Now, I think it's time to go defensive, boys. Cedric has picked up a knock on at right back. He's 46% but we should be able to hold on here we're coming into extra time now there's three minutes to go less than that two minutes to go come on boys hold on to this this could be a huge result we will be top of the league if it stays this way they've got a corner it's cleared Sol should get it he does keep it in keep the ball full time what a big result what a comeback 2-1 we've managed to beat Ajax so after going 1-0 down and to be fair playing very very poorly Morgan Schneidlin though even though he's the most expensive buy in the window, proven to be the bloody key player in that game with two goals, 9.0 rating. Whew. I'm just going to go calm. I'm going to say you've done brilliantly to come back and win that. I'm proud of you because we've won it very, very late on, to be fair. Worried about that because Cedric, 58%. But I do think that means that we are the only team in the league to be unbeaten. And I do think also... That puts us top of the league, but I'll clarify that. And here we go. So we are the only team unbeaten, thanks to the Fox to the Penguins for beating Everton five one. Jaguars managed to win three one. Another win for just another guy HD over there for Jag. Proud of him. He's climbed up to fifteenth. The Penguins up to tenth. The Foxes are in fourth, and we boys are top of the league. We are top of the league. So we are top of the league. So we are top of the league. So we are top of the league. We're 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 top of the league. So clarification of the results around the ground as we save game. The Jaguars won 3-1 against Olympiacos. Dentinho and Gabriel Barbosa with two. Um, Benitez got the consolation goal for Olympiacos. Penguins absolutely smashed Everton 5-1. Lacazette with two. Murray with a hat-trick. Lukaku with their consolation goal. And we obviously beat Ajax 2-1. Schneidlin with both of the goals. An 82nd minute winner. He's not only just signed for my team United. He's also dominating for Lynx FC. This is just a good week for Morgan Schneidlin. Magic Morgan. Hashtag Magic Morgan. That's what we're going for. Um, to Serrero obviously with that goal that we probably should have closed down. But it does put us top of the league. I'm not going to sing the song again. Don't worry. Or am I? Yes I am. We're top of the league. We're top of the league. So we're top of the league by a point. The Foxes could go top if... Or so could America, actually. But the Foxes could go top if they win their game in hand. News also about that Cedric injury or the knock. He's only out for four to five days. But Schneidlin is cream of the crop. Lynx FC maintain their unbeaten record. So 2-1 win, obviously, Ajax extends that to seven games in a row without a loss. We drew 0-0 with Palmeiras. Braga, we drew 2-2. It started off poorly with two draws. We then turned it around in the league with a win against the Penguins, which is a 4-2 victory. Cruisers all 3-0. PSV, we then drew again 2-2. Uh, Victoria Pilsen with a 2-0 victory and one of three clean sheets. And then Ajax, we finally, as, as you know, just beat 2-1. So seven games without a loss. Let's pray that it continues. Our next game, however, though, is in the Cup. That will be on how many days away? It's on the 18th. So it's in four days' time. So unless any news pops up, I'll see you very, very shortly for that. We're top of the league. 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 The Foxes lost 1-0 to Victoria Pilsen. That means that we... So America drew with Boca as well. That means we are top of the league without a loss... Without a single loss, rather, we're a point 
Clear a Wolfsburg, Everton as well. America, um, they drew a Boca, 1-1. The Foxes lost 1-0 to Victoria Pilsen. That means that we are top of the league. We're top of the league. So we have the game then in the cup against River Plate. It's actually Balanta's old team as well. Um, like I said, I'm not too fussed about this tournament, but if we do win, it's a bonus. I mean, happy days if we manage to get a result. The financial rewards for this tournament is actually quite high, so uh, join me in a second. I'll go through the team lineup, and then eventually we'll get kickoff going. So, all right, so we're one to six favourites to win this game. We're playing a weakened team. River Plate are ten to one. We're going with a a weak team in this one. We got Butland in goal, Babber at left back because he's back from. Um, uh, well, we rested him in the last couple of games, so he should be fit enough. Basong and Bruma. Bruma playing his first game for the club. Not actually too fussed about Bruma. I, if I'm honest, I kind of wish we went for someone else. Johnny at right back. Garmash and Stark in the middle. Rafinha, Sol and Zivkovic. Danny Ings up top. So I finally hope Danny Ings can get a bloody goal. But like I said, if we lose this game, not that fussed if I'm completely honest. But we'll see how we go. We've obviously got a strong team on the bench, so fingers crossed. So here we go then. We kick off and... Ings and Sol take centre, it comes out to Johnny, and that will be the end of the kickoff highlight. Come on, boys. Well, this is a good start to Zivkovic's career. He's injured in the 25th minute. <laughs> this is not a good start. Right, okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of shift around. I don't really know if I want to bring Doc Allen yet, just yet. Let's put Rafinha on the right. Who's fitter, AU or Doc Allen? AU is much fitter. Let's take Zivkovic off for AU. Rafinha moved to the right hand side. Um, Sol in the number 10 role. So we're 30 minutes in now. We've had three shots. We're dominating possession. River Plate have just had their first shot now. And there's not been a single highlight. Once again. It doesn't look like we're doing much with the ball at the moment. We are playing a weakened team. That may have something to do with it. But we are very strong down the left hand side. So I think we might have to. And AU's now picked up a knock. This is brilliant. He's just come on. So we go into the second half then. And we've already taken made two changes. Um, Zivkovic coming on, getting it well, starting, getting injured, having to take him off. Bring on AU. AU then takes a knock. So now we've brought Dokau on the right hand side. Here he is, the man himself. Sol's going to come inside with the ball, plays as Rafinha, and Rafinha tucks it in to the corner with the first highlight of the game in the 50th minute. But we're 1 0 up um, with the weakened team out, as you can probably see. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be pleased to go through. I can't deny that I'll be pleased to go through. Here's Sol then. He just picks out Rafinha, who slots it, side foots it, almost caresses it into the bottom right corner. Here's something I could have told you at the beginning of the game. Danny Ings isn't playing very well. It's just not happening for him at the moment. Here is Danny Ings then. What's he going to do with it? He beats one, plays it into Rafinha, and Rafinha smashes it right into Barravero's arms, and he saves comfortably. They've gone with a long ball, but that will be the end of the highlight. I thought they were going to go over the back four then. But it's good to see that Jeffrey Broom is having a good game. So we're still sat up 1-0. We're just going to go and try and control the game a little bit, keep the ball. We've opted to play a little bit wider, get our best players on the ball a little, boy, a little bit more, a.k.a. Dokal. Danny Ings has finally stepped up from to 6.2 to 6.5, so he's having a better game. Rafinha over the corner. Basong takes a touch. What a goal. Sebastian Basong looks like he just had all the room in the world, but he really didn't. He was surrounded by men. And he just brings the ball down. Watch this. Rafinha swings it in. But Song, what a touch. He cuts out about five players there with a little turn. And he just walks away casually as if nothing's happened. But we're 2-0 up. And it looks like we're going through to the next round. I think we'll make a change just to rest some players. I might rest Garmash. Let's bring... Who should we bring on? Actually, no. We're going to rest Baba. And Casco is going to come on for his first game for the club. He's been injured all season. He's finally come back. It does mean also, obviously, Marcus Alonso's left leaving from his loan deal. But we're going to rest Baba. On comes Casco. Just for a couple of minutes at the end of the game. See this game out. Um, as they have a free kick and they've smashed it over. And that will be the end of the game. And it is. And it is full time. And the Mighty Lynx FC have won a comfortable 2-0 victory. Clean sheet against River Plate in the Cup. And it means we're through to the next round. So... So looking at the results then from around the ground after full time, after penalties, and unfortunately Jaggers were knocked out on penalties by by Celtic, as you can see. We won 2-0, knocked out River Plate. Um, Penguins won 2-1 against Monterey. Andre Ayew's out for 7-10 to 10 days, so he may miss a couple of games as we save. 
Um, we could see what I mean. We were given 500k and then 3 million for progressing. So the financial rewards for this cup are quite high. The draw then for the next round of the cup has been done. We'll just do the teams that we know. Uh, Penguins drew Olympiacos. They're at home. We are away to Libertad, who are in the world division number eight. So they're really, really far down. So that should be a, hopefully a nice win for us. We'll play a weekend team in that. Hopefully we can get some more finances coming through the door. Get the uh, the, the old budget up. Um, to note, we'll put where have Celt Celtic have drawn against Lens. So that's who Jag would have been playing. But unfortunately, Celtic knocked him out on penalties. So... Oh, it would have been funny if me and, and the Penguins had met in this round. But yeah, that means hopefully an, another couple of quid in the bank. So happy days. So only ourselves and the Foxes have a game today. The Foxes are at home to Ajax. We are at home to Kivas. And Kivas are actually doing okay in the league. So I think they're in about 8th position. So there, there is a good chance. We're at Kivas. ninth position, sorry. So um, we could extend our lead over a couple of the teams. Put a bit of pressure on a few teams. But uh, yeah, Kivas are not too bad of a team. So I'll see you very shortly with the lineups and for kickoff. Right, so we've had a little bit of an error here. Um, unfortunately, I was halfway through doing the team. So we have got a little bit of a half tired team at the minute. Um, which means I've got Max Cruz on the bench instead of up front. We've got Danny Ings. It's continued me forward without allowing me to do my lineup completely. So we managed to get Rotaru, Shelby, and Gago in. That's all we managed to do, and then it forced continued me forward for some stupid reason. It didn't have a timer, but what's a world network game without an issue, <laughs> without a technical issue? But we are playing a 4-2-3-1. That was the formation we were going to play, but I was looking to play um, a couple of different players. I would like to play Schneidlin, um, probably played Rakitsky and um, Balanta. I would have played... Uh, probably Cedric at right back. I would have rested Dokal for this game. I would have played Max Cruz instead of Danny Ings. So, yeah, we're just going to have to make do, I think. Um, they've got Carlos Vieira, is probably their main threat up top. Fabian Enriquez, Ars, um, Arce or Arce. Toledo, Brizuela, uh, Ponce, Pereira, Flores, Esparza, and Michel. So, I'll see you very shortly for kickoff. So, here we go then. Um, with a very tired team, we're probably going to have to make all our substitutions at half time. Garmash is knackered in the second minute. Broomer's on 82%. Johnny's knackered as well. I'd, I'd like to have done a little bit of rotation in this and to play our best team, really. But um, I think we're going to have to make do. <laughs> we'll just see after how we go. But it's still 0 0 around all the other grounds as well as we hit the 11th minute. So we're into the 40th minute and nothing's happened. Rotaru is having a poor game. Our team is absolutely knackered already. Um, Danny Ings is having a poor game, it's still nil nil. And yeah, this is <laughs> if I'm honest, a little bit frustrating. Half time and nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, so we kick off for the second half then we've already had to make two of our changes. We're probably gonna have to make a third very shortly as well. Um, so Shelby's gonna come forward with a ball. Max Cruz gonna pick up. He just come on for Danny Ings and he saved Doc with a rebound and Michelle saves again. But yeah, um Doc Oh, not Darko, sorry. Uh, Munir's had to come on for Rotario, who was knackered, and Cruz has had to come on for Danny Ings, who was knackered, and I'm worried about Bruma, who's on 67%. Uh, Johnny's also on 69%, but Song's on 72%, so. And Babber as well, 73%. Garmash on 70 Oh, team's just knackered, man. Toledo then coming forward with the ball. Are we going to win this? Negris, we do win that one, though. This, they continue to come forward. Toledo with loads of room, and they've missed, luckily. We're getting dominated a little bit as well, which is not good. Garmash is not having a great game. I think he's going to be the man that's going to have to come off. But Shelby's going to come with a ball. He's going to lose it to Enriquez, who's going to smash it down for a field. Denigris picks it up. They've got about four players over here. Fabian, Toledo, Brizuela, Sanchez. He's got loads of options out on the right. Fabian is going to go through ball, and that's 1-0. Dokal. Dokal. Garmash, out to Baba, swing that in please, put the ball in the box, do not shoot, Munir, Munir, good, good, makes it 1-1, come on boys, let's turn this round, I've just been informed that we might be able to make more than three subs as well, which is a little bit more of a relief, this is going to be the highlight, we didn't get a highlight for the other one, for their goal, unless we didn't get highlights for our goals, so Baba picks it up, it goes into Munir, Munir sidesteps one of the defenders and bangs it in top corner, super sub off the bench for, from, for Rotario, and I think we're going to have to make some changes. Hope that we can make more than three subs because our team is fucked. Schneiderlin comes on then. We're going to have to go with Bruma. Let's play, play this. It does work. Good. Um, and we're going to have to go for 
Let's go with Casco. Casco's going to have to play right back. Um, I think that'll do for now. But I know that would have made all my subs in the first half. For results around the ground, though, I've just realised their goal was disallowed. Munir. Balanta. 2 0. Chilling. <laughs> I'm not so annoyed anymore. Chilling. I absolutely thought we were one 0 down. I did not even. I didn't even notice right now, until, until now. Sorry, that we were. The, their goal was disallowed. Happy days. Munir, Balanta, Schneidlin. Can we make this three? Munir, Schneidlin. Lots of room. Cruz, Munir. Someone. Balanta, Schneidlin. Balanta. Anyone? Have a Cruz. Oh. And it was saved and tipped over the bar. And we are starting to dominate this game now. Munir. Well, that's picked me up anyway. I thought we were 1-0 down. I must have looked back at that. I'm sure it was 1-0. <laughs> but we're 2-0 up. And we're coming into the 85th minute. Let's go control. It's a good thing for the future, though, that we've got more than three um, substitutions that we can make. Oh, no. We can make five. So we'll cancel that. So there's a top of five subs. Cruz, then. He's one-on-one. -on -one. And he scores lovely. He sidesteps the goalkeeper. And we're 3-0 up, boys. We've got the highest goal difference in the league. We're scoring goals for fun. And we're top of the league currently by two points. The Foxes have won. They've won 2-0. That is full-time over there. Um, America from Mexico won 3-2, though. So they are still on the on the trail. Munir's going to swing the ball in. Baba. And it's 4. It is 4. It should be 1-0 to them, I think. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't work. But, yeah, 4-0. Chilling. We're going to skip that, though. We're going to get through this nice and quick. I've been told to move my highlight speed up. Uh, Fabian. Balanta's going to clear. That should do it full-time. We've got five minutes to go. And there it is, boys. Full-time, 4-0. And uh, it's just a strange game. Real, real strange game. But we're going to have to definitely do some rotation in the next game. There are so many players of our players are knackered. But uh, we'll just say calm. Well done, boys. Um, news from around the grounds as well. The Foxes won 2-0. So they're still on our trail. So there's the results then from around the grounds. The Foxes won 2 0, PSV won, Everton won, Palmeiras 2, America from Mexico 3. So that's 3 2, and we smashed it 4 0. We've scored 19 goals in the league in 8 games. There's 2 goals per game average, um, seven goal, plus 7 goal on aggregate. We've only conceded 7 as well. There's not too many teams that conceded less than us. Um, Wolfsburg and a couple of others to note. So not bad. Kivas are hammered by Lynx FC 4 0. We are doing. Very well. 150 grand as well for that game. Baba on form, of course. Two assists and a goal he got in that game. He's such a good signing. I know he's expensive, but he's so, so good. We are now eight matches unbeaten in the league. And we are doing really, really well. We're scoring a lot of goals. Right, so the reason why the Jaguars and the Penguins didn't play in the last game, or in the game when we were playing, is because they had a game the next day. And that was the reason why we forced continued because I think uh, there was a presumption that, that all the games were being played at the same time, which is an easy mistake to make. So that's fair enough. At least we got to make five subs. So and we won four nil. So I'm happy. But yeah, this is the results of the game the next day. Um, the Jaguars unfortunately lost three two to Lille. Um, a Rue penalty and a 25th minute goal. Um, yeah, basically topped that off. It looked like it was quite tight though. I do know J uh, the Jaguars had a penalty. Uh, well, missed a penalty as well, so it could have been three or maybe more. It does seem like it was, it sounded like it was quite an even game. Uh, the Penguins, though, dominated Spartak Moscow, winning 3 0. But what does that mean for the league? It means nothing for the two of them, but it does mean that we're still top of the league by two comfortable points as well. I mean, I, I, told, you, I, I told you this. I, I said this in episode number one. I said this. Actually, episode number one, I was kind of worried because. My signings were taking forever. We'll go for episode number two. But I, I told you this in episode number two. What can I say? I mean, doing all right, aren't we? Doing all right. Not too shabby at all. The Mighty Lynx FC sit comfortably top of the league after eight games. And we still have not lost a single game. Anyway, guys, don't forget to go check out the other guys' channels. Links in the description. We do have like to make this a little bit of fun, have a little bit of rivalry going. But they're a great bunch of lads. They've got good, 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 really good content on their channels. I watch it regularly, so you guys should too. Make sure you go check them out. They subscribe to their channels, like their videos. Their most recent video will be their perspective of this save, obviously. So you've got plenty of content to watch. So make sure, as I said, go check out the channel. Go check out their episodes. 
it does sound like there's been some entertaining things going on in their saves as well so from the messages I'm getting during the game so we do message each other and all that good stuff uh, most of the time they're off trying to all fight over my players and who they want and stuff. No, I'm really joking. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Remember to leave the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you next weekend where we'll probably be top of the league again for episode number 10. That rhymed. I'm telling you, I'm a poet. I'm, I'm just a, a future predicting poet. I just there's so many doors open to the Mike Mighty, Mighty Links FC right now. I think we'll start Poet Club, Poetry Club. If you want to join Poetry Club, leave me your best little rhyme in the comment section below, and I'll like the ones that I like. Because if I if I didn't like them, I dislike them. But I won't dislike your comments because that's just rude. Yeah, I don't know how this has got to this point really. I'm now talking to myself to a microphone essentially. Well, th presuming that you guys are still listening, if you haven't quit the game or quit the video already. Telling you to write some poetry about the mighty Lynx FC and how we're going to win the league. Again, that rhymes. I'm out. Peace.